The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for our farm and ranch news. In our top headline today, a railroad worker strike still looms. Last month, we reported on how the White House appointed Presidential Emergency Board recommended a five year deal that would cap health care premiums, provide cash bonuses, and hike railroad worker wages by 24%. But more than nine out of 10 rail workers say they will strike to secure better wages and safer conditions. The Hill reported that in a new online poll by Railroad Workers United, a grassroots organization representing rank and file railroaders found that 96% of the nearly 3,200 rail workers surveyed are prepared to strike once they are legally allowed to on or after September 16th. It's a big concern for farmers as this year's harvest comes to a close. Grain producers say they are hopeful that railroads and workers can come to an agreement before the September 16th date. Coming up very soon. In other headlines, all average retail fertilizer prices have moved lower again during the last week of August. That's according to sellers surveyed by our friends at DTN. Now this marks a full month that all eight of the major fertilizers are less expensive compared to a month previous. And Hydrus continues to lead retail fertilizer prices lower, down 7% to $1,331 a ton. That's still pretty pricey. The remaining seven fertilizers were just slightly lower. For example, potash is at $880 a ton and urea coming in at $804 a ton. Now a big factor in the reduction is that the European natural gas supply situation, which has influenced fertilizer production prices, is is easing just a bit. Russia's invasion of Ukraine earlier this year had pushed natural gas prices to record highs. We'll be right back. 